trypanophobia, arachnophobia, nyctophobia. These fears have plagued the people of the world for centuries, but lately one fear has come to fruition, known as cholrophobia, or the fear of clowns. However, these upcroppings of circus people has one society of happy jokesters left putting on angry makeup. Hi, I'm Randy Christensen, president of the World Clown Association. I try to always share with people, first of all, anybody doing that is not a clown. <laughs> if somebody dresses like a doctor and is in a doctor's smock and is wearing a stethoscope and is in a haunted house and comes at you with a chainsaw, he is not really a doctor. It's a person impersonating a doctor for this horror venue. Cholrophobia is no longer an irrational fear, as people all over the country dress in clowning attire and take to wreak havoc upon the people of this nation, some even closer than you might think. A select few people, however, do not see this as a mind-crippling fear, but as a medium for humorous antics. So I photoshopped a picture, so I got a picture off the news, just to get like the layout for it. I went to Photoshop and Photoshopped in a clown image and just inspect elemented the uh, text underneath it to make it say something about a clowns in like Parkville. And uh, we sent it to my friend and he like got really freaked out and he sent it to people. And then like that night people was like, like texting us and all this stuff and posting it on their Instagram saying like they were scared and stuff. And like, so we we're like, okay, this is kind of blowing up. And uh, the next day, I like get to school and like everyone in the classrooms are talking about it. As clowns take to the streets, people take to their phones for updates and clown memes. So, the big question is, is this some joke that will blow over, or is this a much bigger threat than we let on? I'm Colton Richards reporting to you from the Southside Scoop, and stay safe this Halloween South.